Good morning everyone. Good afternoon to you all. Good evening, my dear friends. Thank you so much for coming back to my subscribers. And thank you so much to those who have just clicked into this channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate for your love and support. This is Masi Masi Fall 21. I'm a housemaid in Saudi Arabia. And uh, I'm proud because I'm working. Yes, in today's video, I want to share with you something. It's kind of like uh, different from what we've been doing. Like I've been answering your questions, but uh, to this specific to this specific one, I want to to tell you most especially the housemates. There is something that you're just taking for granted. Not knowing that there is someone out there who is also wishing to be where you are. Maybe you're doing something and sometimes you do get tired and you're like you want to give up. But there is someone there who is there just on her knees praying to be where you are. Praying also to get the same job that you are doing. Here is the person how she said. She said like this. Uh, this this lady I've been like uh, she has been following me so much and when I saw her her comment I thought that maybe she's already in these countries working as also a housemaid but to my surprise when I saw her message I was like oh my god may you pave a way for those who are willing to work as housemaids this is her message or oh, this is her comment yes me i wish i'm working as a housemaid oh but i don't have a sponsor because i love kadamas because they are really hard working and endures every hardship ahead of them you talk a lot of this it's the fact, dear, real fact, I love you, thanks for sharing. This is what she wrote. This woman knows that we do endure, but she's praying hard to get a sponsor and she's like willing to come and work. Though she knows there are so many hard, hard times that we do face as how work as housemates. But she's also praying hard to be this side. So my dear friends or my dear house, housemates, before you say you hate this job, before you say you don't like what you're doing, remember there are so many ladies out there. They tried like years back. They even put in money. But they did not get a chance even to get their passports. They did not get a chance to get sponsors. But for you, you've got a chance. You already have this sponsor. You are already in the house, not even at the office. You're already in the house. But still, there are things that you are still taking for granted. But you're forgetting that there is someone on her knees praying to be there. There is someone on her knees praying to get also a sponsor and come and work. By the time I saw this comment, I was like, oh my God. If I was like, I had something I'm complaining about, I should stop it. For sure. For sure, ladies. If you are there complaining that you might look at that work, maybe it's too much for you. It's too much. It's heavy. You can't handle. But there is this woman who is there praying to also reach there. She, and she's willing to endure, by the way. 
Did you know that sometimes God gives people meat to the that God give meat to those without teeth? Have you ever realized that also rich people their children they they don't normally get appetite for food but you find a poor man's daughter with appetite yet they have nothing to eat so it's like we housemates by the way by the way this is not only for housemates but to everyone let it be in marriage by the way let it be in marriage there is this man who is taking for granted that woman but there is also another man who is also praying to get that woman into her hands so my message is we should not take things for granted i normally say that always give your work 100% because you don't know when or where your time will come so sometimes if we take things for granted we can't know by the way we can't know whether we are likely to stay on that job or not at any time something might happen and you're like you're dismissed when you're not ready and yet you've been taking we've been just taking that job for granted and let me tell you something by the way some people they don't always notice this but there are some people who are willing to just let you go and they bring someone who is interested if they see you you're not changing they keep telling you change this or do the other and you keep doing differently they are willing to take you back and they bring someone who is willing who loves what she is doing they don't they it's like sometimes we work as if we are forced yet we they put in their money so always give your work a hundred percent because you can't know let me share with you this message by the way i also saw a comment uh, there is this lady who, she is in oman by the she's like a boss because uh, a daughter of um, a boss i think because she commented and she was like uh, anyone who knows mariam from uganda she worked in oman years back baba is looking for her she wrote her english and i got to i understood what she was like saying so to those who normally go through the comments i think you saw that comment so if i may ask you why do you think they are looking for that mariam do you think they are looking for her because she did something bad do you think they are looking for her right now because she did something good so that's why i normally say always give your work 100 percent because you don't know when or where your time will come now mariam worked in oman few years back but now right now their bosses are looking for her to me that means mariam was the best worker in that house when you are a best worker in the house you will always be remembered you will always be yearned like they want to bring you back they feel like they want to bring you back but if you're not if you you're not a good worker or if you just take things for granted they also not by the way even though we do some things and they are not around but even when we try to pretend but they also not that this person is also pretending okay but then let us give our work a hundred percent 
that Mariam left Oman years back, but she's now they are yearning to get her, but they can't get her. Hmm? I just got a comment in under my videos. They are looking for Mariam from Uganda. My dear friends, my dear housemates. It's high time to wake up. Me, I told you in the last video that when I was when I was still in my country, I didn't know how things are really done somehow, somewhere. But when I came this side, it's like <laughs> by the way, let me also first thank to those ones who take their time to comment. Who take their time you take your time to watch my videos and put down a comment encouraging comments this these comments how i wish i met you guys when i was still in the first house how i wish i met these encouraging comments when i was still in the first house some people we've we've been yearning maybe to get like people who can talk to us, who can encourage us, who can tell us how we can change so that we can stick on these jobs. But we have failed. I normally watch some videos, even if it is just for fun, but I get something out of that video. I normally read your comments carefully, even if it is negative or positive. But I always get something out of that comment. I or I'm I'm now using these comments because I also want there are some people who don't take time to read those comments. But at least you can get my video. Please let us learn from these people who are encouraging us. Who are encouraging us. And I'm loving these comments by the way. I normally love comment section more than any other thing. Because you're doing a great. Like a great work in us. For sure. And if you go back to check your comments. I, I, I hope they have a lot of likes. Than the likes I have on the videos. Because your, your comments they carry a big message for us. So if you are about to give up, look at this comment. Look at it and read it. Yes, me, I wish I'm working as a housemaid. Oh, but I don't have a sponsor because I love Kadamas because they are really hardworking and endures every hardship ahead of them. You talk a lot of this. This is the fact, dear. Real fact. I love you. Thanks for sharing. So, you are in the house seated. Though they give you little food and you look at it and you say, this is little, I'm not getting satisfied. But there is someone who wants to come and join that house. Even if the food is little. She's going to be eating that until she finishes her contract. You are there complaining that for you they are not giving you gifts. You know, we never came for gifts, by the way. Don't complain that maybe they are not giving you anything. It is okay. It is okay so long as you're getting your salary, my dear. But you're already in under someone's roof. You're working. That is a chance. That is the chance that you already have in your hands. But there is this someone who is looking for that also chance. But no means. No means for real. How I wish I can connect you, my dear. You come and work. But I'm also a housemaid who can't, you know, who can't do anything for you. But in my prayers, I'm going to be putting you in my prayers. For real, I thought you were already working. I thought you already joined us because you've been following me so much. So, before you think that maybe where you are, 
that it's not good for you that house is not good for you please look another side and look for something good out of that house you focus on that after you keep working until you finish one time i made a video and a certain house made from a certain country i won't mention she was like do you know what i'm not coming back to this country i'm not coming to work as a housemaid how i wish i reach at the airport and i tear out all the papers my passports and everything i am not going to travel again please guys if you're like swearing don't always swear in the name of god don't always use god's name and you're like putting such a should i call it how should i call it such a word out using god's name because you can't know whether what you're planning to do when you reach in your country it is going to be successful before you say you won't come back and the world is going to see you by the way if you say i won't come back even the satan is there working hard for you to come back so we should not always say i'm not going to come back into these people because they are bad they are you know because there is where you are going to reach and you feel like you're stuck and the only option is to come back and work the only option is to come and work for those people maybe you will not have the money to process like uh, to process again like your papers again but the only option you have and the easiest way is to call back your bosses and you plead for them please can you process for me and i come back and work for you so even if you leave the house always leave the house in a good way let them dismiss you in a good way not in the bad way and we should always give the best because what you want others to do for you it's what you can also do it to others so do what you want others to do for you if you wish me well that means you want others to also wish you well so that's why i always say always give your work 100% so and maybe if you not some changes where you are working maybe yeah some changes any change you first sit down and look think why has this changed like this way why has it been done this way and today it is done this like this today so we sometimes have some changes and we don't realize it by the way yet if we can realize we also get to know that we also have like a, a problem there is something you need to fix out you as a worker you as a maid you also have to fix out some things maybe the problem might be coming from you and you keep complaining or you keep you keep saying this and the other yet you don't know that also the problem might come from you as a maid so for me i normally tell you guys before we complain and someone also commented that that we should not always complain let us always sit back and see why has this thing happened as a maid so not everything that we should always be be complaining be complaining um sometimes these people we always hear maids like are complaining they are treated bad 
but still we don't get the other side but yet also these these people they also have something to say out but they have no means to let others know what has happened don't listen one side yet we can't know what has happened the other side if at all we get to know where the problem has come from then we shall know that how to solve this or we shall get to know how we can you know how we can solve it as housemates but the only thing that people look at is the housemates who always come out and say this has happened this has happened but behind the scenes we don't know where the cause came from or what happened but what i love on these people uh they let things go like they don't keep things on their hearts that like the way we do they are people who forgives easily by the way so for them they don't stick on things even if you do bad even if you do what they just let you go in peace and you know they let others come in who are willing to to work for them and for them it's not like all about for them they can like let me get into the loss and i get someone who is willing so dear housemates it's high time we change it's high time at least we look into a good side of a housemaid job and we see how we can fix each and everything and to those who to those who think that sometimes we do things so that they can appreciate us unless if you don't know what you came to do but to those who open up and you say that sometimes we do things so that they can appreciate us for sure you cannot force someone to appreciate you you cannot force someone to appreciate you last time i posted a video how we were appreciated but we could just see the madam coming in like this giving us like some up, up coming up to appreciate us not knowing we did not even expect it so someone to appreciate the work you've done it's not like you have to work for it just do the way you normally do your things things will just turn up the way you did not even expect them to i appreciate once again to those who take time to comment your comments really your comments have done a big thing in my life i don't know how i can say thank you a hundred times but i really appreciate whether it's one sentence i really appreciate guys thank you so so much to those who love this channel thank you so much thank you so much i really appreciate those who watch and you don't comment still i appreciate you're adding something on this channel to those who comment like you watch and finish also thank you so much may god bless you all i love you be blessed